QuickBooks Online 2022 Credit Card Bank Feed Add Data. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Here we are in the bank feed practice file. We set up with a 30 day free trial, holding down control, scrolling up a bit to get to the 125% currently in the home page, otherwise known as the Get Things Done page. in the business view as compared to the accountant view changing to the accountant view is something you can do by going to the cog up top and switch to the accountant view down below we will be toggling back and forth between the two views either here or by jumping to the sample company file currently in the accountant view going back on over we're going to then open up a few tabs to put reports in right click in the tab up top to do so and duplicating it back to the tab to the left right clicking again and duplicating again as those are thinking let's see where the reports are located in the accountant view by going to the sample company in the accountant view and they'll be located on the left hand side let's go back on over to the business view and the second tab within it and then we're going to go to the business overview to find those reports and then into the reports closing up the hamburger we're going to open up our favorites you know what they are at this point you know what we're going to open it's going to be the balance sheet first that's our starting point changing the range 01 01 21 12 31 21 and run tab to the right and then we're going to go down to the business overview again reports again closing the hamburger the second one yes indeed it will be the profit and loss the p and l changing that range in 01 01 21 12 31 21 and run so there's our two reports let's go to the first tab now and open up our bank feeds that we've been importing into the system we're going to go to the bookkeeping on down below we're going to then go to the transactions up top banking to find the bank feeds if by the way you were in the accountant view it would be located in the banking on the left hand side and then on banking up top all right so i'm going to close the hamburger now that we're in there and we've got the two items uh, to be dealing with at this point in time. We've got the check-in account and the credit card account. So we're going to be moving over to the credit card this time. And don't worry about this beginning balance. You're going to have that same kind of issue with the credit cards that you have with the, the bank account in that if you're starting the first time you import the items, there's going to be a beginning balance if there was a time frame before that point that you'll have to be dealing with. And we'll have to basically figure out what that is and deal with that when we do like a bank reconciliation or a credit card reconciliation, having that initial beginning balance issue. So I'll deal with that later. Just realize that when you first import the credit cards, it might try to kind of like put in some kind of beginning balance based on the data. Uh, so you gotta be kind of mindful of that. That's just what you gotta deal with when you first set up. We'll talk more about that when we get into the reconciliation type of component. Uh, then often people will kind of forget about the credit cards in terms of bank feeds because mostly when we think about bank feeds we think about like the checking account and the transactions there but remember the credit cards are from a financial institution as well we can basically pull those in they're very similar in nature oftentimes because we're going to be paying for things that are business related if it's a business credit card and we also have the same kind of problems with the business credit card or business transactions as with the checking account that being that we would like to have two separate uh, accounts one with a business credit card the other for a personal credit card not be commingling those things however if you do happen to commingle them you could try to break them out just like we talked about with the checking account with the use of class tracking which i won't get into here but you could we have some material on that if you want to dig into that and you can also possibly set them break them out by basically reporting them as draws if you have personal kind of activity on your business credit card just some things to uh, consider their same kind of issues the thing that will differ of course is that uh, instead of increasing or decreasing a checking account you're going to have an increase to a credit card so in other words if i go to the balance sheet then as we pay for things like normal expenses utilities expense telephone expense and so on and so forth we're not going to have a decrease to an asset account which would be a checking account generally but instead have an increase to a liability account down here which is going to be somewhere down here called a credit card type of account and it will go up as we make those charges the other side going to expenses typically if we're paying for expense type of items and then when we pay it off 
we're gonna have that intercompany transaction, I'm sorry, interbank feed transaction, meaning we're gonna have a decrease to the credit card liability account and a decrease to the checking account, two activities on two accounts that both have the bank feeds turned on. So sometimes the system will actually be able to see that match it out for us. But if not, we're just gonna have to deal with how are we gonna deal with that kind of intercompany bank fee type of transaction. So we wanna keep that in mind. Uh, for the first thing, let's go back to the first tab. We're just gonna record the transactions just like we normally would uh, in a similar fashion as with the checking account. And we'll just uh, record those out. So nothing really new here. So we'll go through this fairly quickly. We only got a little bit of data down here. So I'm just gonna have these Costco items and assume that the Costco items are going to be for supplies. Note that in practice, if you were going to something like Costco, like a, a, a store that has a bunch of stuff in it, you might be purchasing small items and large items. Some of it might be going to supplies. Some of it might be equipment. You might set, say, a rule that if it's below a certain dollar amount, possibly it goes to supplies. If it's above a certain dollar amount, possibly then it might be more likely that you're gonna capitalize it as equipment. We'll get into those rules later, focusing specifically on the rules uh, later. So right here, we'll just record you know, a credit card type of transaction and save the general rule to supplies. So let's take this first one. It's gonna pick this one up, open it up, and we'll say, okay, the vendor's gonna be Costco. So it's the same, we've got this information in the detail. So I'm just gonna call it Costco, Costco, and put that up here in the vendor. That's who we're purchasing from. I'm gonna add a new vendor, just like we would on the checking account side of things. I'm gonna save that there. It's not gonna be going to owner's draws. It would if we're spending it out of the business account, but it's for personal use. I'm assuming we're buying business stuff here like supplies. So I wanna add a new account, uh, which is gonna be supplies. See more categories. Now I'm in the business view, so it's not really uh, the optimal way for me to basically add accounts. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this back out. I'm gonna make another tab here in the accountant view so that I can add an account that will be supplies without the business view driving me crazy. So I'm gonna right click duplicate the tab. This is what I think is not exactly perfect within the business view. I think they should make it make that component more like the accountant view. That's my personal opinion. Intuit doesn't care about my personal opinion, I know, but I give it anyways. I give free advice. So then I'm gonna go down and switch to the accountant view down here. And then we're gonna go on down to, we're gonna go down to the accounting and into the chart of accounts, into the chart of accounts. So I'm gonna close this up on the hamburger and let's go ahead and add a new account, which I'm just gonna call an expense type of account, expense type of account. And we're gonna say this is gonna be a supplies, so supplies, materials, something like that. I'm just gonna call it supplies without the materials, just supplies just supplies that's how I like to see it so I'm gonna say save it and close it and then let's go back to the first tab and see if that will then populate over here as I enter in supplies I'm gonna have to refresh the screen so I'll refresh the screen refreshing the screen up top that basically put me into the accountant view and then I'm gonna go down and say okay let's do this again and go into this item this item on the Costco payment, Costco, and then hit the drop down, and there, there's the view I like to see in terms of the breakout of the information. And then I'm gonna say the memo is good. Let's add a rule. Let's make a rule that does this stuff. Call it Costco rule. I'm just gonna make a generic rule for all of Costco, although, again, we might have different things we purchase in Costco. You might want a more complex rule than this. We'll talk more about rules later. Apply this to the transaction. It's a money out rule. It's gonna be in the credit card. We could apply it to all of the accounts possibly. If I saw something in the checking account going to Costco, maybe I apply the same rule so I could do that. All conditions or just some. I'm gonna say all conditions doesn't really matter. It's gonna be the description because there's only one condition. And then if it contains Costco, just Costco, that's all we need then I want you to put it into the expense type of form, which is like a check form without a check number, the category otherwise known as the account of supplies, the payee being Costco, in other words, the vendor. And we'll, we won't make it automatic, so I have to actually click it to, to complete the process. Let's save it. 
like that and now the rule has been applied looks a little bit different than the other view but notice the rule has been applied at this point so i'm just going to add all the costco ones you could do it this way i could say this one and then this one and then this one and then that one i want you to apply those all those that one that one that one and that one okay so i'm going to say okay let's let's go ahead and accept those those have been accepted those are acceptable i'm i think those are acceptable I guess they could be better, but I'll accept them. Let's go into the run report up top and then in the balance sheet, check out what happened down here in the liability section. Down here in the liabilities, we should have a credit card on the books. There it is. I'm going to go into the credit card and there's what happened. Instead of a cash account going down, we got the liability account going up. They put it in with an expense type of form. So if I go into an expense type of form, same kind of form we use for the checking account going down, but this time we're applying it to another type of payment format, that being the credit card. So here it is up top, credit card instead of the checking account that we have up top. Gonna close that back out, looks good. And then the other side, go into supplies. We don't have the beginning balance. We only have the activity that we put into place at this point in time. So when we reconcile, we'll still have to deal with that beginning balance kind of issue with regards to the credit card. Same thing with the bank accounts because we've got to record the activity. It can't just pull in some number. We'll talk more about that later. The other side, if I go to the income statement and freshen it up, put it back in the oven, warm it up, please. Warm it up. We're going to go down and then there's the supplies. Supplies has been added there as well just as uh, just as we as we would have suspected it should have so then if i go back to the first tab then we've added those items in future presentations we're going to deal with these inter uh inter inter bank fee transactions the the amount going out of the checking account and then paying off the credit card we'll talk about that in future presentations and then we'll talk about that item of kind of like reconciling the beginning balance because you got to do a kind of similar to a reconciliation for a bank reconciliation credit card reconciliations we'll get into those issues in both the checking account and credit card accounts in future presentations it will be great